In this video, I'm going to show you how to send a list email in Pardot. Now, this is one of the first things that most people want to do once they get a new uh, Pardot installation, once they're up and running. Uh, and list emails are the sorts of um, one-off emails like, say, a monthly newsletter, or if you have an announcement of a new product. Um, it's something that's going to be triggered manually instead of triggered by some sort of automation. So to create a list email, we can go about it two ways. We can start with a list or we can start with the email. So let's start with the list first. Click on prospects within Pardot, then go to segmentation and segmentation lists and choose the list that you're interested in. You know, in, in this case, I'll choose our example dynamic list that's got seven prospects on it. And when you're looking at a prospect list, there's a tab right in the middle called list emails. This is going to show all of the past emails that you had sent, uh, but also allows you to hit this big blue button right here to create a new one. So that's one way to create a new list email. The other way is to start with the email. Click on Pardot email across the top. And then click on drafts. So by default, it's going to bring you to the email template area, which is actually not where we want to be in this case because templates are used in automations. So instead, click on the first option, Drafts, here at the top of our menu. And we've got one already created, but you could also create a new list email with this blue button right here. So let's go ahead and open this one that we've already got created and hit Edit. Now, with every other marketing asset that you create, you're going to see this pop-up window that has you name it, put it in a folder, attach a tag, that kind of thing. So go ahead and go through those steps and hit Save. Uh, and then you'll be given the ability to either apply a template or to skip it. So right here, we skipped applying a template. We're just starting with a very personal, plain text kind of look. If you click the Apply a Template button, though, you can always come back and, and see what email templates you've published internally uh, and apply that. So here's a test email template. Let's go ahead and apply that in this case. And then this builder is just like the template builder. Uh, it's identical actually so you click into these different areas you can edit you can add merge fields you've got still total control over the design and content of your email and then you can move through the remaining stages for testing and sending one area that's different with list emails from uh, templated emails is this list area at the top you can actually choose which list you want to send this email to and apply a suppression list if you choose to uh, you also have this area over here to schedule or send that email now. With a template that doesn't show up because again, templates are fired by automations. This list email is fired manually. So this is where you can schedule it or send it immediately. Uh, and then at the bottom, you also have the option to add completion actions to a list email. So when somebody opens the email or clicks on the email, you can then take an additional step, whether that's notifying somebody internally uh, tagging the prospect or perhaps adding them to another list for more marketing. So I hope that helps uh, give, and gives you a place to start when sending your list email. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.